Welcome to our Arran Revisited tour. After our first brief glimpse of the beautiful Arran, we were desperate to go back. We are Graham, Ellie, Jazz and Luna and Maya. This is our camper van Merlin. Join us as we explore this magical island. Last time you saw us arriving on the Isle of Arran and looking round the old cranny site. We then headed out to Lamlash Bay to explore. You rejoin us as we're about to walk along the coastal path to Clocklands Point, all overlooking the beautiful Holy Island. And also in this episode, Ellie manages to tick something off of her bucket list. Right, we're at Lamlash Bay and uh, we're just going for a little walk. That's uh, Holy Island over there, accessible by boat only. And evidently, I'm told, no dogs allowed. Tide's out at the moment. Lots of geese down there. Can't see any seals. So we're going to go for a little walk out to that headland over there. See, this is why we didn't want three dogs. Can you see what's going on here? Jazz is really good at getting tangled up with her lead. She's not really used to it, bless her. You also need very big hands. <laughs> I think we can let the dogs off, don't we? Oh, I think we can. Thank goodness. There you go, Jazz. Oh, that's always a relief. This is where she goes bonkers. <laughs> Two down, one to go. Release the hounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Jazz probably will. Luna's the one that stays cleanest usually, isn't she? We're going on the beach. On the beach. Du, 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 du. Hang on. Oh, that's the wrong channel, isn't it? That's Pearl the CV20. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. We've got a load of new geese coming in. Yeah, Jazz not keen on it. Oh, poor thing. Oh, lovely here, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely glorious day, isn't it? Freezing cold, but yeah. glorious. That's the headland we're hoping to walk out to. It's not too far. Dogs seem to be enjoying being free. Hi, what a lovely day. <laughs> My tripod. Ellie's tripod.
you found somewhere soft to sit, Maya? Sometimes when you're trying to film with dogs, it can be really tricky. <laughs> Thanks, Jazz. This little rascal keeps getting into my shots. Don't drink that, Jazz. See what I mean? Success. There's a little shrine here. And Jazz is trying to get over. I don't I think think don't think she's thought this out, but Jazz, I don't think you've thought this out, love. There really is something magical about this place. You can just feel all your stress dissolving as you walk along. See why they call it Holy Island. Certainly making me feel wholly better being here. It's wonderful. So quiet. Just the geese. Holy Island has a long history as a sacred site. In 1992, ownership of the island was passed to the Samai Ling Buddhist community, who belong to the Kagu School of Tibetan Buddhism. The settlements on the island include the Centre for World Peace and Health, and was founded by Lama Yeshi Lossal Rinpoche, and that's on the north of the island. The approach from the ferry jetty is decorated with Tibetan flags and stupas. On the southern end of the island lives a community of nuns who are undertaking three-year retreats. The remainder of the island is treated as a nature reserve with wild Eriskay ponies, sarnan goats, soya sheep and the replanting of a lot of native trees. The island is about three kilometres long and about one kilometre wide. Uh, cruises go from Lamlash Bay and you get to spend about four hours on the island, which is plenty of time to have a walk around. You do have to book tickets in advance, which can be done online. Adults are 18 pounds each. They recommend no dogs. So we reached the headlands at Clarklands Point. Sorry about the uh, pronunciation there. It's a headland at the northern end of Lamlush Bay on the east coast of Arran, and it's to the north of Holy Island. The area forms part of a site of special scientific interest which was designated in 1978. The reason it has special scientific interest is because of the kind of rocks that are found there and also the ecological diversity. The little isle you can see in the distance is Hamilton Isle. And it looks like Graham's found himself a pillbox. So after our lovely walk, I think it's about time to head back to Merlin for a spot of lunch. Well, we didn't expect this weather, did we, in February? Oh, no. The sun feels really warm, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, there's a cold breeze. You can't say, you know, if you stand on top of the hill, it's really cold. 
but in yeah. the lee of the, the the hill, it's lovely, isn't it? In this spot, it's really really warm. Yeah. I just love it. Oh look, there's a seal. Where? Oh yeah! I'm filming him. Oh my goodness, thank you seal! <laughs> he must have hopped up that rock because he wasn't there when we walked this way earlier. got to be a bit careful. I don't want to frighten him. Uh, oh. It's amazing, they're not cut out for it. It's amazing how they can move on land really. is as far as I can go. He's looking at Ellie. Mm. We have noticed. He's lovely. I don't know if he's trying to get back in the water. On our way back to Merlin now after seeing the seal that was just brilliant always wanted to see a seal like that and of course they have to have a bath 
in nice warm water. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Good job we got a camper van that does warm water in it, Maya. <laughs> yep, there we go, darling. Let's pop you on, pop the towel. Getting dry then. There's <laughs> a good girl. Luna's not too bad. No, I will give her a little wash. I'm hoping I've got my elbows done then, bit that always get really wet, aren't they? Yeah. It's nice and warm in the van because the sun's on yeah, it. Yeah, I just it? open the windows, let the Heat. sun in. Yeah, let's try the other leg. I think this has certainly got to be the most scenic place we've like ever bathed the dogs. Like yes, it does. Never had a dog bath at Holy Island. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the most scenic spot in which to bath the dog. Yeah, what do you think, Luna? Clean now? Yeah, good girl. <laughs> there you go. Now we've just got to clear this lot up. Ah oh, well. Right, we're going to have some, what's it called Al? Soup and what? It's um, soup, which is, I'll show you the tin actually. But it's um, plant chef, tomato, chicken, chicken, no chickpea. Oh, tomato, chickpea and aubergine soup with the rest of what we had last night. Mm, nice. We had a little bit left of that meatball and rice thing. So just to thicken it up a bit. And some Lovely. Bread and butter. So all of that, and look at the view that we've got. Yeah, you'd pay a fortune for that, wouldn't you? We've just been up the path there and uh, saw Mr. Seal on a rock. Probably see some drone footage of him as well. But out of all of that, do you know what Ellie's most pleased with? Let me spin this round and show you. Mixed recycling bin. <laughs> she is over the moon with that. <laughs> totally. I love recycling. Well, I think we've broken Jazz. She's having a nice sleep. Maya's on the bed, having a little wash after her wash. Luna's under the table, curled up in the bed, having a snooze. <laughs> and Graham's stuff in his face. Amidst the plethora of video equipment. <laughs> Till we're hungry. We haven't even bothered to tidy up for you, have we? We just uh, stuff in our faces. So, yeah, we got soup and bread and butter. And of course, the view. Does that mean we're having stew with a view? Well, that was a wonderful walk. And I've ticked seeing a seal off my bucket list. Where do you think we're going to now then? Well, we're just, I'm just going to go around the island and just see where it takes us. I haven't got anywhere particular in mind. Just looking for anywhere nice to stop off. Sounds like the best sort of adventure.
This place is uh, Whiting Bay and over there you can see Holy Island and the lighthouse there on Holy Island. Passing through here Ellie saw a co-op and if you remember you know what Ellie likes in the co-op. Yep, chocolate. Well, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave this one here. Make sure you join us on the Island of Arran in future episodes. We see sea, seals, wild camps and the Aurora Borealis. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to join our Facebook group, just do a search Wizard in the Wild on Facebook and click join. If you want to buy a treat for the doggies, there is a link in the description below.